Good morning, Mark Sutteth, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane and Hurricane HD video blog for Wednesday, the 8th of August, 2012. Ernesto making landfall last night as a hurricane, Category 1 hurricane on the eastern side of the Yucatan, as you well know. Still a very vigorous circulation associated with it, and it will survive this trek across and become possibly a hurricane again in the southern to southwestern Bay of Campeche. Uh, big heavy rainfall maker, still very gusty winds over portions of the Yucatan, and it'll track across, making landfall again, potentially as a hurricane here. Uh, sometime late, uh, very late Thursday, early Friday morning, that time frame. And then it could track across and maybe make it out over the Pacific here. I doubt it, but it could happen. And if it did so, it would actually get the next name on the Pacific list of names. Didn't know if you know that, but yes, when they cross basins like this, whatever name it is on this side, it gets the next name on this side. Uh, so right now we're up to G, which is Gilma in the Eastern Pacific. So if Ernesto makes it across and were to redevelop in the East Pacific, it would get the H name over there and lose its identity as Ernesto. Water temperatures down where it'll be tracking uh, in the mid 80s or so, lower to mid 80s, the heat content in that region, the true measure of how much energy is in the water, you know, fairly decent, not as high as what we have in the Northwest Caribbean or through the Florida Straits, for example. Uh, the heat content is simply how much energy is really in the water. That warm water, the 80 degree line, extends deep into the ocean where you have these higher values. And Ernesto going to pass over a uh, low to moderate heat content. Luckily, it won't be coming over, let's say, a long trajectory like this. That's not the case, uh, so it won't have as much time to re-intensify. Looking at the broader picture of the Atlantic Basin, you can see Ernesto here with that still very well-developed circulation. Then you've got pretty strong upper-level winds carved out across uh, a good deal of the western Atlantic impacting the remnants of Florence here, which do not have much of a chance at all. The Hurricane Center giving it zero of redeveloping. And then we have 92L out here, not too far off the Cape Verde Islands. Most computer models bring it into the vicinity of the Windward and Leeward Islands in about the next five days or so. Uh, we'll just have to watch and see. Conditions not the best out in the tropical Atlantic right now still about a week away from the true start, at least climatologically speaking, of what we call the Cape Verde season. So some of these storms are a little premature in developing and they're taking advantage of what marginal conditions do exist. Looking out over Africa, this is the next feature to watch. As this comes out over the water in the next few days, many of the global computer models develop it as it moves west. And it's getting to be that time of year where things will really start to get busy as we get climatologically more favorable and a supposed more favorable Madden-Julian oscillation or period of time where enhanced convection or upward motion in the atmosphere moves into the western hemisphere across the Atlantic Basin and over Africa that these tropical waves out here all will start to have a fairly decent chance to develop. In the East Pacific, we have pretty quickly strengthening tropical storm Gilma, and then another disturbance starting to develop here uh, to the east-southeast of Gilma. And then, like I mentioned, you got Ernesto sitting over here that may track across and try to get into the Eastern Pacific. I doubt it. Like I said, there's very high terrain down here, relatively speaking, and Ernesto will have to survive that. The forecast track for Gilma there is the Baja Peninsula, Cabo San Lucas down here. Gilma way out there to your south and west. Not going to be a problem for the Pacific at all. No land areas. So there you have it. That's your update for today. Again, I am Mark Suttoth. HurricaneTrack.com is my website. Check it out if you haven't already, which I'm sure most of you probably are quite aware of it by now. And I appreciate that. Hey, I'll have another video update for you tomorrow.